you could just make a brief opening comment about winning this honor tonight. Brief opening comment about this honor for you tonight. Oh man, unbelievable. Um, just a, a true blessing for me, man, honestly. Um, like I said, I, I don't give nobody thanks, but to the man above, he's uh, blessed you with uh, a talent to go out and compete at a level every single night, man. And I'm just very, very thankful uh, for his blessing. And my job is to go out there and do it. And uh, just humbled again by this uh, amazing award. And so many great Hall of Famers uh, have gotten this award. So I'm just humbled to be able to be a part of some of those guys. So. First question to the right of the camera. Russell, Brett Dawson with the Oklahoman. When you, when you look back at it, how do you think you'll, you'll remember this year, the, the history of it, becoming a father for the first time, uh, a night like tonight? Uh, it's amazing. Um, it's something I can never imagine, man. I used to, I remember growing up just being home, um, you know, playing the video games and stuff with my pops and mom sitting there, my brother, and just uh, talking about maybe one day I could be the MVP. Uh, obviously, I was joking uh, at the time, uh, but now to be standing here but with this trophy next to me is a um, a true blessing, man, um, and it's, it's an unbelievable uh, feeling, something that I could never uh, imagine. So I'm just very, very thankful and uh, just happy to be here. Mark, on the right side on the aisle. Uh, Russ, can you talk about the um, challenge you had with James this year, you and him going yeah. back and forth, and you open, uh, ended up beating him? And also, what, was the mo what caused you to get a little emotional? Was there anything that you said uh, with, that made you fall apart? Uh, for one, I think uh, James had an unbelievable season, man. Um, and James is a real good friend of mine, as you guys know. Um, and to have uh, him you know, here in the building uh, competing every single night, um, it's, it's a blessing in itself. And you know, hopefully for years to come, he'll be the same thing, man. And I'm just so happy for him and his family as well. And, as for emotions, man, it just, uh, my family, man, that's, that's who I play for. Um, and it's, every night you guys see me scream, pound my chest, um, whatever, I do, do whatever it is, emotion. Um, it's for my family because they sacrifice so much for me um, at every, every level um, that, that I know that they do. Um, and I'm just so thankful to have them in my life and definitely have them here tonight, so. Same row towards the middle. Russ, congratulations on winning. Thank you. If you had, um, if your late friend KB3 was here to see this, what yeah. do you think he would say? Oh man, um, he he'll be so proud of me. Um, you know, these are conversations that me and Kelsey had growing up, man. And uh, to be able to do this in his name, everything I do, I play um, in his name, um, and I constantly keep doing that. Play for his life, his family. Um, and, you know, he, he's definitely looking down upon me and, and, and very, very proud of me. So uh, I know that I'm in the right spot and doing the right thing. So, Fred on the front left. Fred Katz, Norman Transcript. Russ, was, was this night, I'm sure this is something you thought about for a long time. Like you said, you used to joke about winning MVP. Yeah. What, now that you've actually done it is, it, is it what you expected? You know, I didn't know what to expect, man. I'm just uh, overwhelmed with joy, honestly. Um, just uh, just happy, man, to, to be here. Um, and didn't, you know, didn't know I'll be standing here with the MVP trophy next to me. I just know that I, every night, every day, every opportunity I get to be able to go out, uh, work out, compete uh, at a high level, I try to do it. And I'm just so thankful that people across the world, uh, you guys, the fans, uh, noticed that this year. Tim in the front. Hey, Russell. Uh, Tim Monish from the Washington Post. You obviously spent a long time thanking everybody from Oklahoma City, from Sam and Clay. You had your teammates up on stage. Uh, Saturday, you have a chance to sign a long-term extension there to remain in Oklahoma City for a long time. Is that something you've thought about yet, and are you ready to commit to staying with the Thunder for the long term? Man, um, tonight um, is so important for me, um, and obviously with contract and stuff coming up, it's not really on my mind at the moment, honestly. Um, I'm just overwhelmed with the uh, tremendous amount of blessings I've been able to get to be able to get this award, man. I'm just thinking about tonight, um, and then after that, uh, I'll move on. Back left. Christian Winfield, SB Nation. Russ, congratulations on the award. Um, 
We heard you talk about what it meant to compete against James Harden, but what did it mean to, to get a victory like this over a guy like Kawhi Leonard, who comes out there and competes every oh, night? Definitely, man. Kawhi is definitely another good friend of mine as well. Um, and he had a, obviously an amazing year. He's been playing very, very well. And, I, and one thing that I think that's important, I think that, uh, including myself, the three finalists, uh, they're all, we're all from, from Los Angeles. Um, and, and that's a, it's a big part of um, you know, where we're from, our roots. So I think that's another, another huge thing as well. Ohm on the front left. Uh, Russ, Ohm, Yamasa, ESPN. You had 42 triple-doubles this season. You averaged a triple-double, not to put any pressure on you, but how do you possibly top this season? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I get asked that question every year, um, and I never know the answer. Um, I just go out and play to the best of my ability, um, and then whatever comes from it, that's what it is. Fred? Yeah, uh, Russell, Fred Kerber, New York Post. Along those lines, the fact that only one other guy ever did it, and a pretty, pretty fair one, Oscar Robertson. Yeah. What, what did that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, man. Um, Oscar, um, guys like him, uh, Magic Johnson, those guys. Um, obviously, I wasn't able to see those guys play, but just to, to look back at history and see the things that they did um, was something that I looked up to um, as a kid, and um, I would never thought I'd be able to say that I broke Oscar Robertson's record. Um, and that's just a true blessing. I mean, he came down to Oklahoma City, well, excuse me, and, 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 and gave me an award, um, which I was truly, truly thankful for, um, and, and coming down and, and, and doing that. So I'm just so thankful and, and honored to be able to be in a, just a sentence and conversation uh, with, those, with those guys, especially guys like Oscar. Fred on the front left. Do you know yet what you're going to do with the trophy? Um, no, I don't. It's probably either go to my parents' house uh, I'll probably give it to my son. I was like, I probably, I, I, honestly, I can't wait to get back to the hotel and get to him real fast. So. <laughs> Any other questions? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Russell. you. Appreciate it.